Hello everyone. Now this video will show you how to recover the nostro data from this SATA uh, SSD. Okay, this is a SSD, but it's SATA interface. Now let's try to get the SNOS data from this patient SSD. Okay, I'm using the DFL SRP data recovery hardware. Now let's go to my uh, laptop. And I have connected the SSD to the SATA 0. Okay, we can see uh, this is SATA 0 and this is SATA 1. And in the middle is the IDE drive. Okay, this is when SATA SSD connect to SATA 0. Now uh, let's open the SATA 0. Click the DFL, DDP data recovery software. Okay, now let's power on this drive. Now this SSD gets ready. Let's try to scan the bad sector or access the data arrow and check the SSD health status and see uh, what is happening with this pensioned SSD. We can see when we are trying to read the SSD ID, it's very slow. And finally, we get this arrow, read source disk ID arrow. So that means the SSD ID is not detected. Now we can see here, the status register, we get the busy. Busy register is on. That means we cannot continue the data recovery from this SSD. So at this time, what need to do? So one method we can try to use the function here, hard reset. Now we can see the drive gets ready. We can try to scan again. Still busy. Now hard reset again. Now, okay. For SSD sometimes, so it's still not detected. So what to do? At this time, we, we can try to use the flash heater to heat the SSD. But to heat the SSD, we need to remove the screws. This is one uh, SATA enclosure. We need to remove this case, okay? And then we can uh, heat the flash chips on the PCB. So we need to remove this one and then heat the chips. After that, we can try to, okay, click hot reset to get the drive ready. And then we try to access still soft reset. Sometimes we can try to power off and power on the drive again, and then try to read ID. So still fail. Okay, now let's wait. I will go in to remove the case and try to uh, hit the chips and then continue. Okay, now I have removed this case. Now we can see inside this enclosure, inside this case, we can see here is the SSD. So this is SSD inside this uh, SATA enclosure. Okay, here are the screws. We have removed that. Now we need to hit this, hit this chips. Now we can see here are some chips the SK chips and there are four chips on this board so how to hit them we can use the this uh, heater 
now we can put like this one and then we need to fix it okay now we have fixed this uh, heater to the ssd chips and then we can go to the power adapter for the heater this one we need to open it and we need to increase the voltage okay let's turn fix fix it to 20 voltage okay this is the normal working voltage now we are hitting these chips by this heater so let's wait at this time let's go back to the computer and check the software we can click ok now we can try to power off and power on now we can see uh, the ssd uh, gets ready fast let's see uh, if it's possible to id so we need to wait because we just we are just hitting the chips so need to wait a little bit it's still very slow to read this id of this ssd hard reset again hard reset need to wait a little bit okay after hitting the flash chips now let's go back to his computer and we need to try uh, several times for this kind of unstable ssd uh, we can check the data arrow now we can see finally the ssd is detected again so let's try to uh, scan the data arrow we can see uh, state arrow is accessible so at this time we can try to go uh, to steal for ddp data recovery software and set up a new project uh, here we can see uh, this is the id for this ssd information we have just uh, heat heated okay now let's set up one disk image project disk image next and we can set up one VHD to be used as the target drive click again okay, close then the VHD is selected automatically to be used as a target drive and uh, click OK and here we need to untick this one arrow handling uh, we just to keep the hard reset and power reset and also read modes we can use the UDMA mode only. Click OK. Now let's start the disk image. Let's check the status. So we can see this is the SSD imaging speed. We just need to wait until the SSD image completes and then we can get the SNOS data back from the VHD. So this is how we use this 
uh, flash heater to get SNORS data from this unstable SSD. And we can see here, uh, we can add more voltage to heat this SSD. And then uh, we just go to the software to image this unstable SSD. So just need to wait until it completes. Thank you for watching the video.